Hello, beautiful blockchain people. That's me again at CryptoSpine. This is my next cryptocurrency market over. So let's start. Let's check the prices of the major cryptocurrencies according to the site of CoinGecko. And as we see, the prices of the major cryptocurrencies, they continue to increase solidly. So the market is in the green zone. Most of the major cryptocurrencies, they record on a daily basis some new all-time highs. So this is really something great. And I'm really very happy when I see the market in the green zone. And I want to say that yesterday when I uh, checked some of the tweets, for example, what people write about the crypto market, what are uh, the fundamentals behind the cryptocurrencies, I saw an interesting uh, tweet or post saying that Bitcoin Cash processed more on-chain transactions than BTC on February 9th, so yesterday. And this is how this chart looks like. So this is the number of transactions per day uh, on the blockchain of Bitcoin Cash, the green line and the yellow line is the price, the chart of Bitcoin. So definitely this is something interesting and I decided to check if it is true and I use uh, for example BitInfo chart so I have selected Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and here is the number of transactions for the last 24 hours so I will take for the last three months and as we see they are almost at the same level at the moment so uh, yes Actually, it turned out that the transactions according to, of, to this side of Bitcoin Cash are slightly below the number of transactions on the blockchain of Bitcoin, but we've been uh, witnessing some solid increase. So it means that uh, this is something interesting. And I want to say that uh, Bitcoin Cash is a hard fork of Bitcoin that took place on August 1st, 2017. And I remember very well this moment. And I want to say that th that was one of the potential solutions, let's say, to the scalability issue that some part of the Bitcoin community offered at that time. So that's why the, uh, the, uh, this fork happened. So let's see what happens. But I decided to check the price chart of Bitcoin Cash because of this change or improvement in fundamentals of Bitcoin Cash. So today I will conduct a thorough technical analysis of Bitcoin Cash and uh, actually I will analyze, apply technical and candlestick analysis to the price chart of Bitcoin Cash. So this is actually the current price, $526. Now let's switch to the daily chart. So this is the daily chart. I will remove all the necessary things, but let me take the price uh, chart from oops, the price chart from Kraken because I know that it's a little bit longer. Once again, I need to take the price chart for Kraken. So this is what we need. Uh, what I want to see is uh, this is how the daily price chart looks like. I will remove all those unnecessary elements. And let's start from the monthly time frame. So this is the monthly time frame. First of all, we have a sequence of uh, bullish candlesticks with ascending local lows and ascending local highs. I want to say that uh, we're at the very beginning of this month, but we already have a candlestick, a bullish candlestick with a local low significantly above the previous ones. Of course, the situation may change by the end of the month, so that uh, uh, that's why we have to keep an eye on the price chart of, B of Bitcoin Cash. But this is how it looks like. So the reason candlestick sequence is a bullish one. Now, I want to outline something very important. This candlestick here is called a shooting star. So it has a very tall upper shadow and a small body. Usually traders view this candlestick as a potential trend reversal candlestick. So it's a bearish pattern. So it means that usually it forms at the top of some trend and then the price starts to decline. It may happen. This candlestick, the current candlestick may change. We have 20 more days still or 18 more days till the end of the month. But in order to, uh, for, for the traders to say that, yes, this is a solid bearish signal indicating trend reversal, they will need to see some like uh, something like a bearish candlestick with a body below the body of this shooting star and definitely with a local low and local highs below those local highs and lows. That's why I would say that we still don't have any confirmation 
And at the end of the day, it may turn out that if this candlestick surpasses the local high of this shooting star, it may turn out that this shooting star was a fake signal, let's say, that formed just because some high volatility were in this uh, period of time. So it may just... Uh, uh, this uh, candlestick may just uh, signal that there was some kind of volatility and the bulls face resistance and the price drop, but nothing bearish, I would like to mention. And I think it may turn out that uh, this was just a volatility and it was not a bearish signal. So this is the monthly time frame. Now let's switch to the weekly chart. This is the weekly chart, nothing interesting to be honest. This is the price increase, unsuccessful bearish engulfing. So you know what I mean, the body of this bearish candlestick is still wearing the body of the bullish one, the local low is above the previous one, so that was an unsuccessful bearish engulfing. This price decline or pullback ended because we have a bullish engulfing here, so who knows, it may turn out that we are at the beginning of some new price increase. Now, the most interesting part is the daily chart. This is how the daily chart looks like. This is actually the very beginning of the chart, so when the fork took place in August 2017. And now, let me remind you some important technical patterns. So we have here in the price chart this descending triangle that formed during the very beginning of the bear market in 2018. So, after that, the price of Bitcoin Cash drop into some kind of, let's say, uh, bottom, a very prolonged bottom, and it stayed in this, uh, let's say, uh, range-bound bottom for quite some time, so I'm talking about this part of the chart. And I want to say that it's obvious that this part of the chart was below, it was below the uh, level of, the lower level of this triangle, and it tested many times that level, so this is how the price chart looks like. So, during the rebounds within this range bound, let's say, bottom, the price of Bitcoin Cash tested this uh, horizontal line or resistance lines, but all attempts to break out were unsuccessful, even there were no attempts. Now we are at the end of probably this uh, range bound bottom, if the positivity in the cryptocurrency market continues, I mean, then we may see some kind of breakout in the near future. So a breakout may take place and uh, that's why I want to say that it's worth paying attention on the price chart. And I want to say that I bought some Bitcoin Cash yesterday at a level close, uh, uh, very close to the current one, probably a, a few dollars uh, less expensive or cheaper than it is at the moment. It was something like five, $510 or $520. So I bought some Bitcoin Cash because of this change in fundamentals and because, of course, it's quite risky because we still don't have any confirmation of the renewal of some, let's say, price increase here and uh, still the price is below this resistance line, this is very solid resistance lines, but I decided to, to uh, make, to take this risk. Let me explain you how uh, conservative traders operate. If in the price chart here we have, let's say, something like a double or a triple bottom. So, let me draw this bottom. So, this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the second one. Say like something like this. And this is the third one. We see that we have three bottoms at a similar level, significantly, relatively similar level. It's a very solid trend reversal pattern because it's not a double bottom, it's a triple bottom. If the price breaks through this horizontal line or the resistance line, I'm pretty sure that a very sustainable uptrend may start if it happens. And traders, actually conservative traders, investors, they will wait for a, let's say, technical pattern or confirmation like this. First, a breakout takes place. Then, they will wait for a subsequent retest of this 
resistance level so something like this let's say if the price chart doesn't drop below this resistance level and it bounces off and in a subsequent in the following let's say price increase if the price increase surpasses this local high that took place immediately after the breakout they will start to enter the market and they will wait for a, let's say a solid trend reversal because this is a it will be a triple bottom in this case and then a solid price increase may start of course i don't want to say that if it happens this local high will be exactly at the level 700 dollars because i just theoretically want to explain how it works it may be a little bit lower or it may be a little bit higher this is the logic behind this let's say approaches how to trade this trend reversal uh, patterns so actually that's it fellas I, I decided once uh, again to enter the market because of these fundamentals and because of this triple bottom because if the price breaks out I think that a very solid price increase may, may start because this is a triple bottom moreover I will show you one more indicator that uh, is uh, uh, that is bullish at the moment not very bullish but at least it's a, a small bullish additional signal uh, let me show you that in the daily time frame if we add the moving averages so i will add few moving averages of course the monthly because we're in the daily time frame so it's 30 days so this is the monthly moving average and i will also at the uh, three months or the 90 days moving average, the 90 day moving average. So we have two moving averages. First of all, it's easy to see that they've been moving sideways for quite some time recently. And I want to say that at least this is something that is not uh, bearish. So it, I won't say that it's something bullish, but at least it's not bearish. Then if we inspect the last part of the chart, I want to show you that the blue line has surpassed it has surpassed the local highs the previous local highs for the very first time here let's assume that this was one local high that was the next one that was the third one that was the fourth one there was a sequence of descending local highs in the 30 day moving average chart now we have a local high that already surpassed this one and this one and also to some extent let's say this one of course i would like to see it much higher to uh, let's say take to us accept let's say this uh signal as a really reliable one because it may turn out that this is a similar level if the price drops down from the resistance lines then we will just have a sequence of local highs at a similar level indicating continuation of the uh consolidation of, of or of this broad range so that's why this is a little bit tricky but if we have in the near future a local high forms the levels much higher than these ones this will be a solid bullish signal and uh, also we have to keep in mind that the 90 day moving average is below the 30 day moving average it has been uh, also an, an additional bullish signal that's why i decided to to take the risk and to enter the market but let's see what happens because once again bitcoin cash is still within this let's say bottom or range and there has been any solid bullish signal confirming the uh, price exit from this uh, technical or from this consolidation stage but we will keep an eye on the price chart of Bitcoin Cash. That's it for today, fellas. Thank you once again for watching this video. Please share your point of view as a comment under this video. Definitely, I wish you good luck in the financial markets and hope to see you in the next one. It was me again at CryptoSpot.